As things become increasingly expensive, traveling is getting harder and harder to do for many of us. But there are some special hidden gem places that are affordable to visit in any economy. Hi guys, Vanessa here and welcome to Passport Pages. And in today's video, I'm taking you to some wonderful tropical destinations that are perfect to visit when you're on a tight budget, which many of us are these days. And I've made this list not only based on affordability, but also the quality of experience you can find in these places on the cheap. So come along as I count down from 10 to 1 all the great places you can vacation on a budget. Number 10, Curaçao, which is one of the ABC islands off the coast of Venezuela. And when it first opened to tourism, the island was very rugged and undeveloped, but incredibly convenient for locals to visit, either in a 30 minute flight or by a longer ferry ride. But other than locals, no one really knew about this place. Well, that has definitely changed, especially in the past five years, as this island has exploded in resort development and notoriety. And it's not only incredibly beautiful, but very unique looking being a Dutch territory. The main port city of Willemstad looks very old European, right in the middle of the Caribbean, with brightly painted Dutch colonial buildings that are so beautiful, everything looks like a postcard. But the real draw is the perfect beach with the most gorgeous turquoise water and powdery white sand and tons of marine life which makes it every scuba diver's dream destination. Plus it's a well-known fact that the ABC islands are below the hurricane belt and the trade winds keep the temps in the mid 80s year round so even the weather makes it an ideal destination. But the reason it's on this list is of course its affordability. Despite growing in popularity in recent years it's still one of the lesser known islands in the Caribbean which helps keep cost demand down. And I have even more tips to help you visit on the strictest budget. First of all, visit between May through November, which is off peak season here, and the rooms will be priced 50% below the going rate. So huge savings, not only in resorts, but flights as well. You can also save on food by perusing the local markets and skipping the restaurants, especially resort ones, which will save you a bunch as well. I personally recommend the Renaissance Wind Creek Resort, which typically runs between $180 to $200 a night, and it's a great resort resort, but they have many others that are even less, but still provide great amenities. So yeah, even though it's really grown in popularity in recent years, it still benefits from being one of the lesser visited places in the Caribbean, which means you can still have a wonderful vacation on a budget. Number nine, the Bahamas. And it might surprise some of you that it's on this type of list, but you can actually visit this island on the cheap especially if you stay away from many of the big name mainstream things that visitors flock to. And the great thing about this island is even if you're visiting on the strictest budget, you can still enjoy their extraordinary beaches, marine life, caves, all those things that make this country so beautiful and special are free. So let's talk specifics. The Bahamian capital of Nassau is a bustling big draw, packed with activity and everything from incredible Georgian estates and history to fun beaches, colorful seafood stalls, just so many things to explore and enjoy. And because of that draw, resorts can be pricey, but you just have to know where to look and there are many choices for every budget. On the northern coast of Nassau, I recommend Sandy Port Beach Resort for my budget pick, around $200 a night. It has a ton of amenities, is a great pick for couples and families alike, and maybe best of all, offers a shuttle to the local supermarket so you can stock up and save even more of your budget. And there are many more options like this throughout the islands, even cheaper quite frankly, where I've seen rates as low as $80 to $90 a night. But I can't stress this enough. The key to saving in the Bahamas is to stay away from the big tourist spots like Atlantis and major cruising ports, which are automatically going to be much pricier year round due to demand. But if you avoid those places, you can get a really nice tropical vacation for a really great price. And as a whole, the Bahamas has some of the best budget resort options in the Caribbean. 
Number eight, Martinique. Back to a lesser visited island, which is a real shame because it's one of the most beautiful and affordable places anywhere. Many people say the best experience for the money. It's just an incredible country filled with beautiful beaches and unique landscape that's truly one of the most breathtaking in the entire Caribbean. But I cannot stress this enough, this is an island where the timing of when you visit makes all the difference in the world. Because if you visit between the months of December through April, it actually will be pretty expensive, which is why the best months to plan your trip are May and June. The resort rates drop drastically, even airfare is way down, plus as an added bonus, you're visiting before hurricane season and avoiding the crowds. But honestly, Martin is virtually empty for seven months out of the year, so visiting any time between May through November is going to save you a lot of money. If you're looking for the least expensive area to try, check out Tartane, which has many hotels that are perfect for the cost-conscious traveler, some as cheap as $70 a night, right on the beach with incredible views of the Atlantic. Another big reason Martinique is good for budget travelers is because it has a large population of residents. It's not your typical tourist island, and these locals have restaurants all over that serve the most amazing French and Creole food, all very inexpensive expensive meals, which goes a long way toward making this a cost-effective Caribbean vacation. So like always, the key here is avoid peak months and popular cruise stops, and you can have a wonderful tropical vacation on a budget. Number seven, Barbados. Yes, this island is marketed as a luxury destination, and while it definitely can be, it's also a lot easier to visit this gorgeous island on a budget than you might think. The cheapest months for this island will be between July through November, and in my experience, the cheapest flights from the US are from Miami since it's so close. You can get them for a steal. So if you don't live in Florida, try to book the cheapest flight possible to Miami, and then book a separate flight from there. You'll save a ton. So Barbados is actually a pretty big island, with the capital of Bridgetown being a big and popular cruise port, and because of that, the bus and van network on the island, especially in this area, is not only very good and reliable, but very affordable as well. Like one US dollar on average for a ride to your resort, which is like the best deal in the Caribbean. So definitely use that to your advantage and skip the private taxis because they can be pricey. For an incredibly cheap stay, avoid the western part of the island where most tourists stay, and instead head southeast to the parish of Christchurch and the Silver Sands Beach area, which is so nice, and you'll find home rentals for as low as 40 bucks a night and hotel rates for $70 a night. There are many incredible beaches in this area to explore. The water is clear and calm with great snorkeling as well, so pack your gear to save on rentals, and you're all set to have some great days at the beach and a wonderful vacation on a budget. Number six, St. Kitts. Another underrated island, St. Kitts has beautiful scenery, wonderful food, and plenty of hotel and resort options to suit every budget, including the budget-conscious traveler. Yes, this island has some incredibly expensive resorts, stay away from Belmont Farm for your wallet's sake, but it's also one of the best islands for getting a very affordable stay where you won't be sacrificing on quality. Case in point, the Timothy Beach Resort located on Frigate Bay Beach, just a short ride from the airport with rates around $100 a night, and you get a very comfortable stay with a big pool right on the beach and great on-site restaurant and bar with live music, so a great deal all around. The island's rainforest makes for great hiking as well, a great free pastime, and you can stop at one of the many beach bars for an affordable cocktail. I do suggest St. Kitts over its sister island Nevis because it has a much wider selection of hotels, restaurants, and bars so you have more budget options to choose from. There's a ton of history to the island as well, which you can explore on your own mostly for free from Brimstone Hill Fortress to the St. Kitts Scenic Railway. And if you're on a budget, stick to the Frigate Bay Beach area, which I mentioned earlier, because not only do you have very cheap hotels, but it's just a 10-minute drive to the fair 
ferry terminal where you can catch a day trip to Nevis, which is a much more affordable way of visiting that island. Plus, the strip of beach is filled with restaurants and bars that really come to life at night, so you get some great nightlife as well. So a wonderful budget option if you know where to stay, you can have a really cheap yet nice and very complete vacation. Number five, Dominican Republic. I've talked before many times on my channel about how the DR offers the most resort options in the Caribbean. And while many of the resorts I review can be a bit more expensive because I review the places that I believe to be the best, that does not mean that there aren't hundreds of more affordable options to choose from on this island. We're talking as little as $20 to $30 a night. So again, this is an island where the best flight deals will be from Miami, which is just a two hour flight away from Punta Cana, where you'll find beautiful white sand beaches and a resort to suit every single budget. Places like Caribo Punta Cana have rates around 45 to 60 bucks a night, so just an incredible value for surprisingly modern rooms and a big pool. And while the beach isn't within walking distance, they offer free shuttle rides every day to get there. The Samana Peninsula is a very underrated part of the DR, surrounded by the Atlantic and Samana Bay, with gorgeous scenery scattered with waterfalls, and between January and March, they even have great humpback whale watching. And it's here that you'll find what I believe to be one of the best values on the entire island, Chalet Tropical Village, which has five villas with kitchens, free breakfast, which has very good options, and it's just a 10 minute walk from the beach, all for about 125 bucks a night. So I do get some complaints about the prices of the resorts I review, but for the most part, I'm reviewing the best of the best. There are far more affordable options in the DR where you can get gorgeous stretches of sand, year-round sunny and warm weather, all for very affordable rates. Number four, Jamaica. This is another incredibly popular tourist island where you have, you know, the same 10 or so resorts that get promoted and everyone visits, which means the lesser known and more affordable places unfortunately get overshadowed. But it's actually one of the most budget friendly islands, which means traveling on a budget is not only possible, it's actually pretty easy to do. First of all, local food is wonderful and there are many options everywhere to pull over and have delicious delicious and very affordable meals. I've talked about how their many jerk chicken shacks are a must try, and there's a lot of affordable housing as well, starting from the cheapest hostels and guest houses to budget hotels and resorts. And I've started emphasizing in recent videos that if you want to keep costs down when visiting Jamaica, try to stay away from the more touristy areas like Montego Bay and Ocho Rios. Doesn't mean they don't have more affordable resort options as well, but most of the options will be pricier because they are the big tourist hubs. And unfortunately, Negril gets overlooked all the time, which is a shame because it's beautiful, affordable, and romantic. When we were on our honeymoon in Ocho Rios six years ago now, our driver told us how great Negril was, but the tourists never went there, and that hasn't changed much over the years. I suggest the West Ender Inn, which is only about $60 to $75 a night, such a great deal, sitting above a bunch of rocky cliffs so you get great views, and it's right past Rick's Cafe, which is a must visit when in the grill to watch the cliff jumpers and especially for the incredible sunsets. The property also has a beachside bar, three infinity pools, and free shuttle service to Seven Mile Beach, which is truly one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. You can also find lots of great local restaurants nearby, but despite all that, Negril remains surprisingly laid back and relaxing. Of course, there are other spots around the island where you can visit on a budget, but I find Negril to be the best experience for the money. Like I said, the key is to eat at local establishments and stay at guest houses or locally owned hotels, which is a win-win, because we'll be supporting the Jamaican economy while still enjoying the island on a budget. Number three, 
Puerto Rico. This has become the buzzy affordable place in 2022 that everyone's been talking about, which is interesting because up until this year, the island was not very affordable to visit at all. But in 2022, the big reason it's gotten so much buzz is because of airfare. Airfare is the main reason many people have decided not to travel, which is a shame because resorts have never been cheaper. Of course, go figure. But airfare to Puerto Rico is now cheaper, comparatively speaking, than most other destinations in the Caribbean, especially when flying from the southern U.S. And it's a great island to enjoy some incredible activities for free, exploring the cobblestone streets of old San Juan, and soaking up the local history and culture is incredibly fun and interesting. Most of their beautiful beaches are free, and hiking Yungay Tropical Rainforest and swimming in their waterfalls is an unforgettable experience. The island also has hundreds of breathtaking caves, many of which, like Cuevo del Indio, are completely free to visit. But maybe best of all, the hotel options and the quality you get for the money are some of the best anywhere, especially if if you visit during hurricane season because a little risk will offer big rewards here. In Old San Juan, Casablanca Hotel is about $150 a night and you get a very nice looking property with attractive rooms, many with balconies overlooking Old San Juan, a rooftop terrace, and a really great restaurant all in the middle of the charm and action of this city. And if you stay at one of the many family-owned inns around the island, you can spend as little as $30 a night. Ferries are also one of the cheapest and coolest ways to see the island for just a few bucks a ride. You can get from the mainland to a smaller island off the coast like Isla Culebra, so you get to see that much more of this great country on the cheap. So with Puerto Rico, you get great beaches, historic cities, and even great nights life, which can all be enjoyed even on the strictest budget. Number two, Dominica. Not to be confused with the Dominican Republic, this island is known as the nature island of the Caribbean, covered with fern forests, mountains, and coconut palms. The focus here is outdoor living and exploration in a beautiful setting. So once again, the cheapest flights here are from Miami, and minibuses are definitely both the easiest and cheapest way to get around the island, stopping in all the main spots of Portsmouth, Trafalgar, Rosalie, and Rousseau, and you can spend as little as one to five dollars per trip. Plus, it's a nice way to meet locals as well. And while the island has been starting to develop resorts over the past five years or so, so development and tourism is still pretty new, most of the island still thrives on super affordable guest houses and cabins, which usually run about $40 a night for two people. So super affordable. The island also has delicious street food everywhere, making this place even more affordable for even the tightest budget. Jerk shacks are big here and so good, and you can get a great meal for just a few bucks, and sometimes they even pull out pop-up film projectors and show movies while you're eating. But probably the best and most unique thing about this island, especially when traveling on a budget, is that most of the incredible nature attractions are included in an ecotourism program that you can buy a day pass for for just five bucks and a weekly pass for $12. And you can visit as many sites as you want in that time period. So things like the Emerald Pool, Boiling Lake, which is really cool, Sulphur Springs, Fort Shirley, just to name a few, there are over a dozen places included, so just an incredible value. Plus, the proceeds go to conservation efforts, which is nice. So you and your partner can easily visit this island for 50 to 60 bucks a day, but you never feel like you're missing out in any way, making it one of the best islands to visit on a budget. And number one, Roatan, which in my opinion is the least talked about and most underrated island in the Caribbean. So this island is located about 65 kilometers off the coast of Honduras, and it is truly breathtaking. Just one of the most beautiful islands you've ever seen. Now, my first budget tip might surprise you, but the cheapest time to fly and stay here is actually in January, especially the end of the month. You'll save a lot, plus the rainy season ends in December. 
December, and the big flight hubs in the U.S. are Miami, Houston, and Minneapolis. My pick for where to stay on a budget when you arrive is Hotel Chili's, which I'd recommend even if you're not on a budget, so the cheap rate is just a bonus. They have seven cabins, each one with a wonderful porch with hammock, great beach, and even an on-site dive shop. Street food is amazing here as well, with a surprising number of bakeries actually. Sweets are big here, so be sure to try the Sandy Buns Bakery, where everything is baked fresh every morning, including their cinnamon rolls, so a great place to stop for breakfast. And Anthony's Chicken is another favorite, serving jerk chicken with sides and other classic Caribbean dishes for five bucks. But what makes this island so special besides its affordability? So first of all, the coral reef surrounding the island is one of the most diverse, so it's ideal for diving, snorkeling, and fishing. There are over 100 snorkeling spots on the island, and the water is absolutely pristine, especially West Bay, where you can snorkel through canyons of beautiful coral with hundreds of fish around you. There's a reason people come from all over the world to dive and snorkel here. The beaches themselves are incredibly peaceful and gorgeous, although I will say West End Beach is a big cruise port, so try to avoid that particular beach afternoon. The east end of the island is much more undeveloped, filled with birds and butterflies and iguanas, and you'll find great hiking there. On average, if you follow my tips, you can stay on this beautiful island for as little as $30 a day per person, which is great, but you also get the perfect island vacation filled with incredible natural beauty and lots of wonderful activities, making it my number one budget island. So I know travel can be pricey these days, especially flights and meals. It all adds up really fast, but I hope this video has helped you find new budget-friendly islands where you can really stretch your money, but still have a wonderful tropical vacation. If you have any islands or places where you've had a great vacation on a budget, please share them with our community. That'd be very helpful. This is Vanessa for Passport Pages. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye, guys.